Building your dream home with a VA loan is a possibility, but it isn't always an easy road. And that's because it's tough to find lenders that'll make a true zero down VA construction loan. Remember that the VA basically insures loans. It's up to lenders to decide what kind of loans they'll make. And many lenders out there find that new construction is too risky. Like many other lenders, Veterans United does not make VA construction loans to build homes. What's increasingly common is that veterans look for a construction loan from a builder or a local lender. And then once the home is finished, they basically turn that short-term construction loan into a permanent VA mortgage. First, let's talk a little about construction and land loans. So with a traditional construction loan, you're typically going to need to put money down. Now you might be able to get this down payment back at closing, with that permanent VA financing once it's in place. And we can talk more about that in more detail, but do expect a down payment for the typical construction loan. Now also, when it comes to getting construction financing, you can absolutely pay to shop around. Talk with multiple lenders and financial institutions and compare down payment requirements, compare closing cost estimates, and more. Some builders might have programs or deals especially for veterans and military families. Do your homework and make sure that you're working with a legitimate builder who has a track record of success and satisfied homeowners. Also, there are restrictions out there about using your VA loan benefit to buy land. You can't go out and get a VA loan for unimproved land with the hope of one day putting a home on that site. There are traditional land loans out there for this purpose, but do bear in mind, those typically require a down payment as well. Now, veterans and military members who own the land that they want to build on might be able to use any equity they have toward a down payment requirement for construction financing. Now, veterans who don't own the land, they can often include the purchase of it in their overall construction loan, but that's something to talk with construction lenders about in more detail. Keep in mind, construction loans are short-term loans. Veterans and military members should start working on the permanent financing as early as possible. Now, VA lenders can take a couple different approaches to turning that short-term construction loan into a permanent VA mortgage. One is to issue a VA purchase loan, and the other is to issue a VA cash out refinance. Now, guidelines and policies on how this works can vary by lender. Veterans and military members who are hoping to turn their construction loan into a permanent VA loan, they'll need to meet the same underwriting guidelines as a veteran who's buying an existing home. So credit scores, debt to income ratio, residual income, and more. But from a broad underwriting perspective, there isn't a lot of difference between a VA purchase loan and a VA cash out refi. Now the home will need to be constructed by a builder who has a valid VA builder ID. Now these aren't hard to get, and it's even possible for veterans to build the home themselves. Now home builders will often need to provide a one-year warranty as well. And last, keep in mind that VA appraisals are required even for new construction, but the appraiser might be able to base that appraisal on the home's plans and specifications with a final inspection to follow once the home is actually built. These are just a few reasons why it's critical to talk with a VA lender at the beginning of this process. Lining up a construction loan is a key step, but you'll need to be able to turn this short-term loan into a permanent mortgage once the home is built, and that's not something you want to wait to figure out. Now last, let's take a closer look at the two permanent VA financing options. The big difference between a VA purchase and a VA cash out refi is your ability to get cash back at closing. With a VA purchase loan, lenders will lend whichever is less between the appraised value of that home and the total payoff for the home's construction, and that can include the land if there's a separate loan for that. Now on a cash out refi, qualified buyers might be able to borrow up to 100% of the home's value. That means that veterans and military members might be able to get cash back at closing from that home's equity, which means possibly getting back some or all of your down payment. So for example, let's say that you put down 10% on a $300,000 loan. So 10% of a $300,000 loan is $30,000. This is the down payment that you had to make for a construction loan to cover the acquisition of the land and the building of the home. Now you subtract this down payment that you've already, you've already forked over, you've given it to the builder, and you're left with needing to borrow $270,000. That's what you need to repay that construction loan. Now if the VA appraisal ultimately determines that the home's value, if that home is worth $300,000, then you might be able to borrow this amount, this 300,000, 
and get back in cash the difference between the appraised value and what you owe, which in this example would be the $30,000 that you've already put out. Uh, guidelines on loan to value ratio and other requirements can vary by lender. Now, some buyers might jump at this opportunity, while others would prefer to keep building equity and start with a smaller loan balance. Every buyer situation is different. Generally, at Veterans United, the borrower would need to own the lot on which the home is built in order to be eligible to refinance a construction loan. Otherwise, we would treat it as a typical VA purchase. Now, to sum up, it is absolutely possible to use your VA loan benefits for new construction. But the process, it isn't always simple or straightforward. And some buyers might need money for a down payment to get things moving. Talk with a Veterans United Loan Specialist if you have questions about building a home using the VA loan program.